Healthcare systems around the globe are facing challenges that affect the entire supply chain, from manufacturers through to wholesalers, distributors, group purchasing organizations, and healthcare providers. Everyone is concerned with two main issues, increasing supply chain efficiency, and more importantly, ensuring patient safety. In Palmerston North, Eileen Anderson had recovered in hospital from a chest infection and was ready to go home when her name was put on another patient's drug chart and she was given a fatal dose of morphine. It's blunders like these the Health Ministry wants to eliminate through this new system. Medication errors are usually the result of inadequate processes and not deliberate human error. Automatic verification at the point of care can help. Health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports one North Jersey hospital is tackling the problem by installing computers on wheels. This technology combined with the nurse at the bedside really reduces the errors through the barcoding process whereby the computer looks for adverse drug reactions, is it the right dose, the right route, the right drug, the right patient, and will stop that process if there's not a perfect match. Making and selling counterfeit drugs is a big and increasing problem. The World Health Organization estimates that up to 30% of the medicine for sale in parts of Africa, Asia and Latin America is fake. And the danger is not confined to developing countries. Traceability and authentication systems will make it much more difficult for counterfeiters to infiltrate into the legitimate healthcare supply chain. Most market surveillance requires reliable data, but it is proving to be a major challenge today. For example, 60% of approximately 66,000 adverse event reports received by the FDA in the United States lacked the lot number or another meaningful identifier. Manual systems and processes cannot handle the large number of medical products that are being recalled annually worldwide. To improve supply chain visibility, all partners need to be able to rely on automated processes that provide efficient and effective product identification and traceability. Healthcare spending is on the rise in most countries, and stakeholders are looking for ways to contain costs without impacting the quality of care. Standardized supply chain data can help reduce unnecessary costs from incorrect deliveries, invoice errors, obsolete stock and other problems that occur too frequently in hospital processes. Manual systems and processes are, quite simply, unable to efficiently cope with the constant changes and demands in healthcare. But to automate these processes, all stakeholders need to communicate with the same standards and data so they can identify and share product information accurately and quickly. GS1 standards make it easier to automate these processes, which are fully interoperable and compatible for everyone. The GS1 system of standards is built upon GS1 identification keys, GS1 barcodes, EPC radio frequency tags, the Global Data Synchronization Network, Electronic Business Messaging Standards, Global Traceability Standards and more. GS1 is a global neutral non-profit organization whose standards are open to everyone worldwide. As a result, they work smoothly across borders and across sectors. Furthermore, GS1 facilitates a voluntary healthcare user group whose members work to lead their sector to the successful development and implementation of global standards for healthcare. Worldwide, there are 108 GS1 member organizations providing support to their local healthcare communities to maximize the potential of global standards. Visit our website to learn more about GS1 Healthcare or to find out the GS1 member organization in your country.